Uh, the Planetary Society, if you're interested, their number is area code 818-793-5100. And what other types of projects do you work on besides the Together to Mars? Well, we have the uh, only existing continuous search for extraterrestrial intelligence going on anywhere in the world, and that is a radio astronomy search at uh, um, uh, Harvard University. There's something called a Mars Watch coming up in September. What's that all about? Well, Mars is making uh, its closest, uh, gets as close to Earth as it does in its 19-year periodic cycle as the two planets go around the sun. So it's a great time to observe Mars. Uh, everybody will be able to do it. They can go out and just look up in the sky, and there it is. Uh, and it'll be bigger than, it'll be almost as bright as Venus. Uh, and for amateur astronomers, it's even a better time because they can uh, now really begin to see features on the surface uh, make scientific measurements as well as just get the good pictures they've always wanted. Speaking of scientific advancement, you've written a book called Star Sailing, Solar Sails and Interstellar Travel. Now this is a different way to get around than maybe what we've been thinking of. Yeah, this is the way we see to uh, uh, you really go regularly between the planets uh, without using fuel. It's an idea of you uh, hoist a big sail up and you uh, use sunlight pressure to go around the solar system. Uh, it was a very exciting project we did at JPL, uh, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, when I worked there uh, some 10 years ago. And the uh, idea was we wanted to use it to rendezvous with Halley's Comet. Well, it was a little too ambitious a project for NASA to try, uh, and so it never happened. But uh, the technical work was so exciting and it captivated so much interest that I wrote this book uh, and uh, to uh, sort of keep, keep alive the dream of sailing through the uh, solar system and uh, maybe even out to the stars someday. What is it about space exploration that, that keeps everyone fascinated? Well, you know, it's a combination of uh, looking for the unknown, of wondering about ourselves, our origin, our place in the universe. People have turned to mysticism and superstition for this. They've turned to religion for this. They turn to science for it. It's always there. It's present in the uh, human uh, species for, for all of our known history. Uh, we are, it's, it's a uniquely human characteristic. We don't know that uh, wolves wonder about their place in the universe or, or uh, that fish have this sense of wonder uh, about themselves. That's a, that's a human characteristic and I think it's manifested in many ways. Uh, we are very fortunate to be living at the time when uh, to be, make that transition off of our planet and actually step out there and start to get uh, some real information on it. And I think it's that excitement that people respond to, that they want to see continue. They want to see it continue as a enterprise that maybe could be uh, the lasting best enterprise of this, of our civilization and of our country. All right, we're out of time. Thank you very much for joining us today and answering our questions. We'll see you tomorrow on Sound Off. Bye-bye.